Previously under the Xiaomi branding, the Redmi series of smartphones is now a sub-brand of the Chinese phone maker. The first device to be introduced after the announcement is this phone right here, the Redmi Note 7, and it is coming to Malaysia very, very soon. Sporting a premium design, large battery capacity, and most importantly, great value for money, the Redmi Note 7 is an interesting mid-ranger. If you're in the market for a sub 1000 ringgit smartphone, this is one phone to look out for. Compared to previous Redmi smartphones, the Redmi Note 7 is far more premium. The glass and metal construction looks and feels great, and it's reasonably hefty too at 186 gram. It's not all that surprising that it's a hefty phone because it comes with a huge 4000 mAh battery, which should be able to return excellent battery life on this phone. Despite having such a large battery capacity, it's not all that thick either at 8.1mm thick. It's neither too thick nor too thin, and it feels just right when you hold it in your hands. Powering the Redmi Note 7 is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 chipset, which should be able to provide a good level of performance. Yes, it is not the fastest or the latest Snapdragon chipset to come from Qualcomm, but this is just a mid-range smartphone, so it should be you know, adequate enough for this phone. Besides that, gaming shouldn't be an issue with the 660 either. You should be able to get playable frame rates on games like PUBG Mobile, for example. But if there is any element of the Redmi Note 7 that will divide opinion, that would be its 6.3-inch display. Yes, the top of the display has a notch and it is quite a noticeable one. Besides that, its top and bottom bezels, when compared to its competition, such as the Realme 2 Pro, is noticeably thicker too, so it doesn't look, you know, all that fantastic. But beyond those, it is still a very good display. It is bright, it has vibrant colors, and viewing angles are quite alright for an IPS display. And despite its 1080p resolution, it still looks plenty sharp. Of course, a higher resolution display would look better, but that will only drive up the price and power consumption of this phone. And then we have the Redmi Note 7's dual camera system, which is one of the most interesting hardware of this phone. The primary sensor is a 48 megapixel shooter, while the secondary one is a 5 megapixel sensor that is responsible for capturing depth information. So, since it has a 48 megapixel sensor, does it shoot at this resolution? Not quite. It uses pixel binning to improve the camera's low light performance. As a result, the file size is effectively reduced to the equivalent of a 12 megapixel image. Yes, you can shoot at 48 megapixel if you want, but that is only limited to the camera's manual mode. How is the camera performance of the Redmi Note 7? It's relatively good. I managed to capture some low light shots with this camera and it performed pretty well. While it doesn't have the best dynamic range or detail preservation, this is still just a mid range phone, so my expectations weren't all that high anyway. But considering just how much this phone costs, it's plenty good camera performance. Of course, I will put the camera through its paces in a full review of the phone and until then, I can't say if it has amazing or average camera performance. But for what it's worth, I'm optimistic that I will be left pretty impressed. Without a doubt, the Redmi Note 7 is the best device in the Redmi series yet. It looks and feels premium, it doesn't have any glaring fault and of course, it has great value for money. According to Xiaomi Malaysia, this phone will retail for less than a thousand ringgit in Malaysia. Let's say if it retails at 999 ringgit, which is still below 1000, it would still offer really good value for money. Not many phones in this price range can match the Redmi Note 7's feature set, especially when it comes to build quality. We would know just how much this phone would cost in Malaysia once it launches on 19 March. If it is priced right, it could very well set the benchmark of what to expect out of a mid range smartphone. Like this video if you like it, subscribe to us if you haven't already, and as always, stay tuned for more good stuff to come here at Next Rift.